Good morning, it's Mr. Mice Guy here, and today we're making a video um, about some what I think are some surprise Merle pups, uh, some pied Merle pups. Uh, they were born on March 31st. Today is, I think, April 8th. So they are uh, eight, nine days old. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I. These guys have a little bit of wild ancestry. I am not sure exactly what the percentage is at the moment. It's probably something like 3% 3, 3 is what I'm thinking, but I'd have to go back and check. Um, so yeah, so nine days old. Um, I did reduce this litter because I didn't want to um, uh, have them have them not make it and I wanted to make sure I knew which ones were gonna make it. Um, and so I, early on, noticed that there was something different about the coloring on these two guys. Um, and I think that they're pied. It almost looks like there's some brown in there. But I'm not the best judge sometimes of early colors. Um, there's also the potential that they could be tan, which I'm, I'm really excited about that potential. One of them is male, one of them is female. Uh, this one I believe is, oops, this one I believe is the male. And I believe this one here is female, definitely. Yeah, so I'm super excited about these. I think that they are uh, blue pied merles, pied because they have the white spots. And then, see how their fur is kind of patchy looking? I, I think that they're merle, or I mean, I'm sorry, roan, they have the roan gene, um, and they might turn out to be merle. Um, but merle and the roan pattern are the same gene, just has a variable expression. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about these two. I did not see them coming. Um, and it almost looks like they look kind of like in real life. It looks like there's some like blue and brown mixed out throughout the coat here. Uh, so I, I'm not sure, uh, what's going on there. They're also both Rex and potentially they might both have long hair. Um, now I paired them with the hopes of uh, the parents rather, which are both black and white uh, Rexes. I paired them because I knew that they carried the yellow genes, and I paired them with the hope that they might produce some yellow pups, uh, which they produced one. <laughs> um, and he is a male, of course. Oops, he is a male. Um, might be able to use him to breed to dopamine in the future. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, probably going to keep him because I don't have any yellow males currently. And I'm probably going to keep the two Merles, uh, or the two Roan pattern ones. Um, but these guys look real cute. Uh, oops. They're so easy to knock over. Um, this one is a female. Yeah. So she's kind of cute. And she might have the tan belly. Not sure yet. She might be pied and tan. And I, I kept this one too. Um, and I think this one is... Trying to peek around the camera to see what's going on there. Uh, this one I think is female. Yeah, it looks like female. Um, and I just thought she was real cute. <laughs> I love, even though it's pretty simple, I love the black and white pie like this. Reminds me of a dog, right? And it's so cute. <laughs> um, and she could also have the tan belly. Uh, but, you know, based on the other litter and my, my judgment, my assessment, I am not super confident in my ability to determine if they have tan bellies early on. Um, but there is a potential for any of these to have tan bellies. Um, and it looks like uh, this guy here too. We have this one, female. Uh, this one here is a blue pied. And none of my current litters have any pied, but they're all carriers for pied, uh, meaning the, the white the recessive white spots here. Um, yeah, so I'm really curious about these guys, if they're gonna be roan pattern, because it looks almost like they've got brown fur mixed in. And I didn't know, so I knew the father was a, a carrier for roan, because his father is um, is the uh, first merle pup, uh, roan pup mouse that I, I, I got. Um, but the mother does not is not related at all. Um, and I did not know that she was carrying any uh, Roan genes. So I am not sure if it is Roan or I don't know, don't know. Um, and to me, again, it looks like 
there's definitely definitely a splotchiness to their coats. Definitely a splotchiness to the coats, but it almost looks like there's like bits of brown mixed in to their kind of grayish looking coat. That's what it looks like, but it's hard to say. It depends on the lighting. Sometimes in some of the lighting, it looks like there's some brown mixed in, but um, I don't know what's going on. But they're cool. I'm excited um, to see how they develop. I love when I have some mystery going on in my litters. Um, ideally, eventually, there will be no more mystery, and I will know, you know, exactly what each pup is and exactly what they carry. Um, but because I'm still kind of working on developing my lines of mice, um, I get some surprises, which I like. <laughs> I kind of like the surprises. And, and part of me, I, I really like seeing litters where all the pups are identical. Um, and I don't know why that's pleasing to me, but it is. Or, or, or maybe not identical, but very similar looking. Um, but then I also like seeing the, the surprise and variation among the, the litter. That's something that I enjoy. Yeah, so I don't know I don't know what's going on, but I'm excited. I'm ex very excited to see these two here. These two need to develop. Well. I don't know, can you see it on the camera? Does, what does that look like if, for people who are viewing? Does that look like there's brown mixed into you? Or does it look like it's just kind of a gray color? I am a little worried that these guys aren't getting enough nutrition, kind of like dopamine's litter. Uh, they, they are warm, and they are obviously growing and developing coats, but to me they seem a little bit, um, a little bit scrawny. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that is, but um, I might even take some of them and foster them on another mother who has less babies. Uh, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do on that. Uh, but we'll see uh, going forward as I, I keep track of them. So yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check me out on my website, MrMiceGuy.com, and Instagram at MrMiceGuy. And I will see you tomorrow for another video.